and it is going live setting up the webinar for youtube live so it's actually doing all the work it's supposed to do and shazam we're actually live now with the day one of the uh boot camp for how to become an affiliate on the builder all affiliate marketplace so um we are good to go uh, before I get getting started, do you guys have any questions for me before we get started? But remember, we're live on YouTube. So whatever you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Just want to make sure you know that. <laughs> so any questions before we get started? Some of you guys had some questions uh, about the previous boot camp. Questions at the end. Yeah, we'll, we'll do questions at the end. We've got a, a lot of stuff that we'll cover today, but it's all the intro stuff. Um, but any questions about the boot camp before on becoming a seller? And uh, and let me know, you guys. Did you learn something new? Were you able to work on putting something together? I know Roberto is working on a, a product right now. So tell me how excited you are about becoming a seller on the marketplace. I am absolutely. I'm willing to get some products out there. Good. The when the the first one that I'm working on, which is a real estate investor learning program and trying Good. to put the products all together but uh, since we don't have that it is straight to our website that we have so i'm trying to i did already some pictures like to put it in, in inside of the marketplace mm -hmm. but now i believe that i the pages that i did and uh, they're not going to work out if i base on your social media explosion website so i'm mm -hmm. trying to you know, to put it all together, to make Good. it work nice like you have on the social media explosion. Yeah. But, Great. And so we can all be watching for your product on the affiliate marketplace, right? So watch for Roberto's product. Um, hopefully it'll be up there really soon and you can learn how to do some cool real estate stuff with his product. Um, I know that David's talking about putting a product together. Tyree, are you talking about putting one together? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was, um, I got one on marketing and one on trading currencies. And I do, do want to say that I looked at, um, you know, I was on all the boot camps and it, be, it it's so much that we can do. It became kind of like, oh, uh, exciting. I began to become analysis paralysis because you showed how we can build a site from scratch, but at the same time, build all already has templates that are very good. We can customize those. So, I became like a kid on Christmas having so many presents to open. I was like, you know, didn't get a chance to play with any of them. So I, I thank you for that. And one other question I had just asked before we became live, and I'd like to ask that question again, just in case someone that's on you that's watching us live may have that question in their, in their mind, may not be able to answer. And that question was, when we're doing our funnels, do we have, uh, does the system by default put the purple banner at the top? Uh, it does. It absolutely does. When you, when you create a product on the affiliate marketplace and then you create it as a funnel, meaning you've got a front end product and then you've got more products that are going to sell after that front end product. So you might have an OTO or a one time offer one or an OTO two or a one time offer two. Um, so what the system does is you designate what the front end product is and what the upsells are and what the downsells are. And you can, we have kind of a neat graphic that does that for us. So you kind of click and drag stuff. It's actually really cool. But once you create that little graphic that shows what the upsells are and what the downsells are, then in the background, the affiliate marketplace actually does all the work of making sure the funnel is together so that when they go through the front end product and they make a purchase, then they're sent to the next product. And if they choose to say yes to that product, they're sent to whatever you said it would go to. Or if they choose no, they'll send it to whatever you said it was supposed to go to. And there'll be a purple banner up on top that kind of prompts them. Do you want to buy it? Do you want to go to your purchase? Or do you want to say no thanks and go to the next item? And uh, that is built um, automatically by Builder All. So you don't have to go in and create that banner. It puts that funnel together for you, which is really cool. Okay, I had two more questions that was brought to me uh, from some of the people I know that were watching the replays. One question was, how long does it take before a person know if they are accepted as an affiliate of a product? The other question was, how long does it take for a person to know 
if their own product has been accepted to be a product on Bill Dollar Marketplace. We have a couple of people that are designated to approve products. And so product approval, meaning you're creating your own product and you're posting it up to the marketplace, that usually takes between two to five days. It just depends on the workload of the person that's actually approving the products. Um, I would definitely say don't expect it before 48 hours. That's, that's really important to understand. Um, so you want to get this stuff done, get it submitted, and get it approved and understand that you're going to have to wait a minimum of two days, possibly up to five days. Um, but they're usually really quick about it. I've never had any problems. Also, if there's an issue that something's not quite uh, resolved, uh, say you didn't have a good description, you didn't have an image, um, you didn't have uh, the dollar amount designated on how much the item would cost, something like that, um, they will actually not approve it. And in the notes, it will tell you exactly what you need to do to get approved. So that's the good thing is that if you're missing anything or something's not quite right, they'll give you instructions on how to make it better um, so that you can get approved. So that's the seller product approval process. Now, the affiliate approval process is a little different because each affiliate is applying to a specific product and that product owner there's no guarantees how fast he's going to approve that product. If they're a really active product owner, then you may get it approved within minutes. Uh, if they are not really active and they put a product up there and they're, they're just kind of testing the waters, they may not go in there for a few days and they may not see that you've even applied to be an affiliate. So there's not a whole lot you can do as far as expectations for being approved for an affiliate. You do have a recourse though, and that is if they put in a support URL, which they should have, or a support email, which they should have. If you've applied to become an affiliate and it's been a few days and you haven't heard anything, it's perfectly okay to email them and say, hey, I've applied for an affiliate and I'd love for you to take a look at my approve me to be able to sell your product. Um, and then you just kind of go from there. So that's one uh, resolution you can, you can have for uh, getting approved a little bit faster. Thank you. You're welcome. That was pretty easy. Okay. I, I got it. Yeah, Davida. Okay. Now, now I've finished one e-learning e course that's up there, but I'm working on another one that's overcoming limiting beliefs. And then I've got a, a video package that's called Bridging the Gap, and I want to use that that as a funnel for the two of them because it's it kind of works together. Good. So what you're building is a product to put on the marketplace to a couple of products. So just in this group alone, we've got one, two, three, four, five people that have already raised their hand and said, I'm creating a product. So you need to look up David Long. You need to look up Shelly Turner, Roberto Rondon, Tyree Thomas, and Davida Shinsky. Hopefully I said that right. All of them are going to have products up on the marketplace and you can apply to become an affiliate. So that's what we're going to learn how to do in this particular course. Um, so hopefully you other guys are actually working on products too, uh, and getting them up into the marketplace. That would be fabulous. And, uh, and hopefully what we're going to see is a flood of products that hit that marketplace so that you guys can actually go in and apply to be affiliates and sell specific products to your specific niche. Roberto. Yes, Shelly. Can, based on what, what Tari was speaking about, can you show us some funnels already done that can be used for this purpose? Um, for becoming an affiliate? No, for, for actually doing <coughs> the website like your uh, like media the social media. Yes, Oh social, yeah, um, media. We, we may do that. Um, I wanna really focus on being an affiliate in this training, but mm -hmm. um, let me spend some time with you outside Roberto. Maybe we can do okay. it together. And, uh, and I can maybe help you get a little bit more on track. I, I don't think it's going to take you much, and you're going to see it clear as day. Okay? Good. Awesome. Thank you. Fabulous. Like right, mine, mine now is, is, uh, is, is completely different to everybody else's. It's in the tourism industry. Mm -hmm. Great. I, I'm excited about it because it's something, it's something different to, to the products, like the money-making products. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if, if people know people coming to Ireland, or if they know people on, going on vacation, as the fellow says, to Ireland, 
that's any anybody will use this so they'd be able to say to say hey you're going to ireland here check that out and they, they'll make a sale they'll make great. a sale you that's know great. because well, I, i'm i'm pitching it in like uh, I, I i remember there what you said about uh the pricing structure etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm-hmm. and i i don't know well here, here's here's one of one of the questions that i that i was thinking about right um like on the upsells or the OTOs, whatever we want to call them, right? Mm-hmm. Could you give a certain amount of time of yourself? Yeah, you can do like whatever you want. A, give one hour for 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 uh, one certain fee, and then two hours for another fee as another upgrade, maybe. Yeah, you absolutely that's can do that. Right. That's that's again, it can be delivered digitally. So anything that you want to sell that you can deliver digitally is actually perfect for the marketplace. That's that's. That's excellent. Yeah. Great stuff. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. And remember that this is the affiliate training. So what you'd be offering, David, is to let other people sign up as an affiliate for you. And then whatever you're going to charge for that training, you would get give them a commission for getting you the business. Right. To me, it's it's kind of similar to uh, if you're doing advertising in the newspaper. Well, you got to pay the newspaper for the ads to, be able to get you customers. So um, this is even better with an affiliate because you don't pay them diddly squat until they get you business. The newspaper, you can pay them all day long and it may never get you business. So the affiliate uh, platform is actually a better way to, to spend your money because you're not going to pay until you get a sale, which is see, absolutely fabulous. The, the other thing, the other thing about it, which is, which is marvelous, right? Is that if you have um, a product, right? Mm-hmm. You're, getting on to so many affiliates with their lists that could be thousands. So they're sending that out to their thousands. So you're like, there's what, how many, how many of us are here now at the moment? 10, 11, including yourself, right? So if we all signed up on each other, you're, you're going into that, that could be potentially 11,000 if, if, if people have a thousand on, on their, on their list. That's, That's right. potentially getting you to 11,000 people. That's exactly right. That's You'd be exactly paying right. a lot of money on Facebook to get to, to that. Yeah, and that's why there there are um, many many like affiliate co ops out there that um, sellers join and um, then affiliates actually group together and um, and promote as a group uh, specific mm-hmm. sellers. So it, mm-hmm. it's a, that's another area that you can look into is creating an affiliate co op so that sellers can come in and use that co op and you can actually charge them a fee. Um, you can say, Hey, Mr. Seller, I've got an affiliate co-op of 50,000 people. We'll charge you a hundred bucks to get your stuff out to them. Tyree, Roberto, Davida, <laughs> Willie, Shawana, James, Gabriel, Pierre, Michelle, Shelly, David, we should make one of those little co-ops. <laughs> That's right. There's so much you can do with this, yeah. guys. You're really only limited by your imagination in That's, this. That's, yeah. really cool. That's a fact. Yeah. Wow. Davida, yeah. did you have a question? No? Okay. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and, and, and talk about exactly what being an affiliate is. We've kind of been dancing all around it, but let's talk about exactly what being an affiliate is. Um, when we talk about being an affiliate, what we're saying is that you're going to be finding products that you want to sell and you want to sell them because you like them or because they match the niche that you're in. Or for some other reason, you want to sell this product. It's a great product. You think that it's going to be able to sell to the people that you advertise it to. Um, So you want to sell it. So you apply to become an affiliate. And when you apply to become an affiliate, when you're approved, you're going to get a very special affiliate link. And that link has your ID on it. And that ID can be a combination of letters and numbers. It doesn't matter. It's just an ID. But When someone purchases using your link, you get credit for that sale and you're going to get a commission. And that commission is um, clearly stated by the seller uh, when you apply to become an affiliate. So um, you may earn a commission of 5%. You may earn a commission of 95%. Um, It depends on how much commission that person wants to give you when you sell their product. Now, when you become an affiliate and you start selling a product, 
um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can go willy nilly with the product. So obviously if I'm selling a product like social media explosion, I don't want to take, I don't want you to take your affiliate link and all of a sudden go to like porno sites and illegal sites and gambling sites and put all that stuff up there because then my reputation is going to be lost. So um, whenever you become an affiliate, you need to make sure that you're respecting the seller and you put it in places that are um, that are appropriate for that product. The social media explosion, which is just a collection of graphics that are business quotes, motivational quotes, mindset quotes, that would not be a good place for a porno site. It just would not. So um, you want to put that on business sites, mindset sites, coaching sites, work from home sites, make money from home sites, online marketing sites, um, those type of sites. So when you become an affiliate, you have to be aware of the product that you're selling and where you need to advertise that product so it will sell. Obviously, social media explosion with being a collection of graphics is not going to be a site that sells well for underwater basket weavers. You know, they, they want to know about underwater basket weaving. They don't really want to know about mindset and business goals and stuff like that. Um, so those quotes would probably not be helpful for them unless they're starting their own business, right? So um, becoming an affiliate, as easy as it is, the challenge is to find the right niche to be able to market your product or market that affiliate link and be able to actually sell the product so that you can get a commission. Obviously, you can take that link and put it into um, YouTube videos and you can do a quick YouTube video and talk about the product. There's a lot of those out there. Um, you can do organic Facebook marketing where you get into specific Facebook groups and actually market that product to those groups. Um, you can uh, advertise it to your email list. So you create an email and send it out to the people that are on your list and market your product. So there's a hundred different ways to do it. You just want to make sure there's probably a thousand ways to do it, but you just want to make sure that the way you do it is appropriate for that product. Okay. So that's kind of one of the challenges of being a, uh, uh, an affiliate is making sure you're getting the right product to the right targeted audience to be able to sell that product. That's the number one biggest challenge. Now, how can you become an affiliate in Builder All? There's a couple different ways. First of all, you guys probably know about the Builder All business owner package. So when you become a Builder All business owner, you actually get an affiliate link for Builder All, and you can um, promote Builder All that way. Um, I never say sell Builder All because Builder All actually sells itself. So I just say share. Um, so that's one way that you become an affiliate right away is if you get the Builder All uh, business owner package, it's $49.90. You join Builder All, you get your affiliate link. And now not only do you get to build crazy, wonderful, fabulous stuff with Builder All, but you also get to share Builder All with other people and let them do the exact same thing. That's a really fast way to become an affiliate in BuilderAll. The second way is to take advantage of the BuilderAll affiliate marketplace. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and share that with you guys to show you exactly what it is. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go to a new window and I'm going to type in marketplace um, dash us dot builderall dot com. And I'll make sure that this gets into the resources uh, for the uh, replay so that you have this link in the resource area. But it's marketplace-us.builderall.com. This is the front end area of the Builderall Marketplace. And this is where you can get started. You do not have to be a Builderall member to do anything in the Builderall Marketplace. And I'm going to go ahead and um, look at your eyeballs so you can see me say that. Because I think I said that you were... Uh, restricted to be a seller, um, you had to be a builder all uh, business owner. But guess what? You don't. <laughs> you can be a seller. You can be a buyer. You can be a JV contractor. You can be all of those things and not actually have a, a builder all account. So you can do anything that you want to and not necessarily required to be an active builder all member. Um, David, you got a question? Yeah, you were mentioning yesterday about talking to people who made products mm -hmm. that you could introduce them to the Builder All Marketplace. Yeah. Now, do they have to be selling or making something 
um, for Builderall or can it be for that free platform that we know all know about? I'm not going to mention the name or other things. Yeah, there's, there's, there's so many ways you can do it, David. Um, you can do it as let me introduce you to Builderall, but you sign up for an account. You create your sales pages in Builderall. You set it up, right? But I want 5% of what you do, right? Right. Or you can say, hey, I've got Builderall Marketplace. I will create your sales pages for you in Builderall. I will connect everything, but I want 15% of whatever sells. Yeah, these boys, so, a lot of these people are so, they, they just go for it. You know, like what, how, what's stopping them? Oh, you've told me about the Marketplace. I'm going to go in and do it myself. They, they can. They they. They so they leave you out of it, yeah. So it's it's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah. It is a difficult anyway, one. Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's difficult. You have to be you have to be experienced in the game for sure. Um, but if you think about it, um, Builderall is not the marketplace itself is not kind of out there yet. So you'd be um, exposing them to something that's pretty new. So depending on how you word it and how you approach it, you you might could get some um, pretty big players to put their products up there. But you see, the, the problem the problem is that these these people are so difficult to actually speak to. They just they're behind a, an email, and that's that. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll, that's what I'll, I admire about you is you're you're front and center. You're you're there talking to us. You know, whereas, you have to you have to think of it this way, David. Mm. All they can do is say no, and if they what? say no, true. you true, move true, on. True, you're true. not any worse than what you were before, and you move on. Right. Um, these people that you deal with, if they come at you with an ego, move on. Absolutely move on. I, I have no problems. If somebody comes at me with an ego, my brain shuts down and I just move on because I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely going to do my best to not come at people with an ego. I'm, I'm not, I'm not that type of person that's like, do you know who I am? <laughs> I can't even imagine ever being that way. Um, but there are people out there that are like that. So it, you get to choose who you work with. If you want to work with those type of people, then go ahead. But for me, if I run into that type of person um, and the ego's uh, out front and center and you can't get past that, then I just kind of find somebody else that I can work Well, th then all you do is get, the, get them to use the, use the product, buy the platform and become, become a, a business member and you'll still get a monthly, a monthly income. That's exactly it. You, it's a win-win because if yeah. you expose them and they do it on their own, they're still going to have to sign up to build the web pages and it's stuff like somebody, that. So yes. You're going to get them yes. under you. Um, or, 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 or you can offer to be the, the, the whole kit and caboodle where you create the sales pages for them. You create the uh, product on the affiliate marketplace, but obviously if you do all that, you're going to get a higher percentage as a JV contractor. Mm -hmm. So, um, you just have to decide how you want to do it and then, um, go for it. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so when we talk about the affiliate marketplace, let me go ahead and share again. So this is the page right here. And again, you don't have to be signed up as an active member of Builderall to do any of this. You can, uh, if you are an active member, you can log in with your Builderall information. If you are not, then you just click sign up and sign up for a new marketplace account. It's it's literally that easy. And then right here uh, and right here, yes, similar. Uh, Shelley, oh Shelley, yeah, go ahead. Uh, don't you think it would be wise to uh, create a trademark uh, or domain name for this marketplace to to make it um, a name by Builderall maybe, but uh, not a subdomain of uh, Builderall. It, it, it looks too cheap and not really a, a new entity, a new marketplace for everyone. No, mm -hmm. I think they're okay. working on that. I think they're okay. working on that, James. Um, this is just the first iteration of the, um, the front end of the marketplace, the, the public side. Um, and it's, it's really, really simple. Um, and, and it's only in English. They don't have it in any other language yet. So um, they, they haven't put the resources together yet to be able to build that front end for multiple languages and make it, you know, full functioning. Right now, really, you've got the login, you've got the sign up, and then a couple more buttons, and that's it. That's the most basic setup. So I think all that's going to be improved upon and hopefully it will get its own domain um, right now instead of a subdomain off of, off of builderall.com. But um, it, it, even being as basic as it is, um, let me go back to take a look at it. Even as basic as it is, we've got the login right here and sign up right here. 
Then we've got um, look for your purchases. So if you've made a purchase already, you can actually click this button and log in to access your purchases. And then we've got Amaze Me, um, which when you click on there, you just have to register for a, a new account if you don't have an account already. And then just a couple of buttons, including start promoting and start selling. And then just a little bit of information about what the Builder on Marketplace is and what it can do. And then uh, again, start promoting or start selling. And then the footer. So it's really, really basic. Um, and we've only got the terms of website use and the privacy policy. So again, there's going to be a lot more coming. This public side is going to probably be um, a lot bigger and a lot more robust. This is just the very beginning of the public side. Okay. So um, when you see this, if you do not have a Builder All account, you click sign up. If you do have a Builder All account, you click log in and you just use your Builder All uh, credentials to be able to log in. It, it's that simple. Um, so in here, I'm going to go ahead and click sign up. We're just going to create a new sign up. So I'm going to click sign up. And that takes me to an area where I have to fill out some information. So on my display name, I'm going to type in Katie Ray uh, Molino. That's my granddaughter. She's adorable. And then I'm going to uh, give an email, Katie Ray at um, memberbots.com. And password is a secret. And a secret again. And then it, I have to declare what country I'm a citizen of, which I am a citizen of the United States. Oops, not the outlying islands, but the United States. And then I have to check mark, I have read and I agree to all of the agreements and policies, et cetera. And I'll need to click on those to make sure I take a look at them before I agree to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click check mark and then register. And now I'm actually registered and it says a confirmation email has been sent to me. So I'm going to go to my login. And let's see if I can log in without confirming. Uh, it says, unfortunately, you do not have permission to view this page. So I'd have to go in and actually do an email that I can confirm. So let's go to, oh, and let me in. How funny. So it let me in here to my, my actual my actual account instead of the Katie Ray account. So let's go ahead and use mine and we'll take a look at what's uh, happening with the account. So this is the Builder All Marketplace. Once you log in, you have a couple things that you can take a look at to get started. And I'm gonna look at this top right hand side. And this first button here is my profile information and then I've got account tools. And when I go to the account tools, I've got several things that are coming soon, but I wanna focus on um, W9s. I can get my W9s right there. And then the other thing which David was mentioning earlier, which is the payment profiles. If you click payment profiles, it's gonna allow you to set up your PayPal so that you can receive payments for products. So when a customer pays you, you're gonna actually be able to get paid. So you wanna set that up as an affiliate right away. So let me remind you where you can go to get that. You're going to go to your profile. You're going to go to account tools. And then you're going to go to payment profiles. And it's going to allow you to set up PayPal and to configure it. All you do is click configure now. And then you'll go through the process of setting up to be able to receive your payments through PayPal. Okay. The next area is uh, this button right here where you can choose the language uh, that you're using. I'm in the U.S. So I'm using English. But we also have a couple of other languages for the affiliate marketplace that you can uh, see the marketplace in a different language. And then right here, I've got a bell. If I click on that, it tells me uh, notifications. So you can see that I've had affiliate requests. I've got uh, sales that I've actually had. So I had a sale yesterday and another one yesterday. And then I had an affiliate request today. So um, all I have to do is go in and check those and see what notifications I have. And then right here, I have a search button. If I click that, I can search and uh, see if I can find maybe a specific product or a specific seller or something like that. So I can do a search right there. So that's that menu right there. If I go all the way to the uh, left-hand side, I've got 
something right here. If you look under the word notifications, I've got dashboard, my account, notifications. This is known as a breadcrumb trail. And what it does is it shows you that you're in your dashboard under my account at notifications. So let's say I just wanted to go back to my account. I could click that button and it would take me back to my account information. And then if I wanted to go all the way back to the dashboard, I could click dashboard and it would take me all the way back to the dashboard. So that breadcrumb trail actually helps me to navigate so that I don't have to necessarily click all the buttons over here. If I wanna go just all the way back to the dashboard, I can just click dashboard or I can click this dashboard icon right here. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other, whatever method you wanna choose, okay? This is actually the homepage for the dashboard and it gives you a snapshot of what's happened. So right here, you can see that today as a seller, meaning um, I am a person that created a product and I'm selling the product. So today as a seller, I sold one item for $47. So I've had one sale. I've had 11 visitors and I've had 29 button impressions. So out of 11 visitors to my website, I sold one product. Um, usually between five and 10% conversion is what you're gonna get on any specific website. So that's actually pretty good, right where it needs to be. Um, yesterday's seller snapshot. So what happened yesterday? I had 14 visitors, I had 29 button impressions and I had one sale and it tells me what that one sale was. Now I want you to notice something different since I'm a seller on this item, it was sold by an affiliate. So the gross revenue was $47, but I paid out 75% of that to my affiliate. So it says I paid out $35.25. So my daily profit for me was $11.75. So that's an affiliate that sold that. And then today I had a sale, but if you notice my gross revenue was $47 and it was not an affiliate sale, it was a personal sale. Um, I sold it. It was from one of my own links. So my profit for this product is going to be $47 because I don't have to pay anything to my affiliate. Okay. And then this area right here is what you guys are going to be interested in as an affiliate. When you sign up to be an affiliate for someone else's product, when you make sales and when you get unique visitors to your affiliate link, it will register those. And then if you make any sales, it will actually list the sale, how much you made. Um, and it will keep track of yesterday's and it will keep track of today's. And as you can see, I'm an affiliate of somebody's product and I got one unique visitor, but I did not make a sale. Okay, so I can keep track of some really basic analytics by going to just the dashboard to look and see what's happening for me as an affiliate. Okay, I'm both. I'm a, I'm a seller and I'm an affiliate. So I'm going to get stats on both sides. Now let's take a look at this menu down here. The first icon Sorry. is the dashboard. Oh, go ahead. Question. Question. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. That's uh, okay. So is the business part shown on this particular uh, dashboard or uh, marketplace as well? Or is that separate? The, the business part? Build the the builder all like business. No, the builder all business part it's is separate. actually shown on the dashboard for builder all. So it's separate. Grant, thank you. Sorry for interrupting. Thanks. No, that's, it was a really, really good question. Yeah, any statistics that you need to check on for your Builderall affiliate link, where you're actually sharing Builderall with others, that will be in your Builderall dashboard under the Builderall business area of the dashboard, okay? All right, so right here, we've got the dashboard icon. This takes us to the exact same place. If I click it, it is the exact same screen that I'm seeing right here. The next button down is the marketplace. If I click that, I've got a marketplace list and I've got a customer marketplace. They're both the same thing. It's just that if I click marketplace list, then it shows me in list format all of the products that I have in the marketplace. So I can start taking a look at them. And when I look at these products, I can see what the title of the product is. I can see who the product is by. And then if it's got this little symbol right here, that means it's part of a funnel meaning there's more than one item that's being sold. And it will take them from one page to the next page to the next page in the funnel. And you have potential to make money on each of those items that are in the funnel. So that's what that symbol means. 
There's another symbol where there's uh, two arrows that are kind of flowing in a circle. What that means is recurring payments. So that means that if this product sells, you get an affiliate link and this product sells, there's potential for you to earn recurring income because there's recurring payments, meaning there may be payments every month, every week, once a year. I don't know what the payments are, but whatever they are, whatever the schedule is for those recurring payments, you, if you look closely, you have potential to make recurring income from that particular item. So those are actually awesome items. And then once you take a look at these list items, you see that there's a details button. If you click the details button, then you're gonna get more details about that product. You're gonna get an image, you're gonna get a description, and it tells that, it, it says that you can receive up to $95.40 going all the way through this funnel. And uh, the purchase price for the product is actually $169 for the customer. And you've got a couple things that the uh, seller of the product has made for you. Of course, they've made a sales page. So if you click on that, it should take you to the sales page of the product. So you can actually take a look at this product and what's actually being sold. Right. So you scroll down and take a good look. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the affiliate URL. If you're considering being an affiliate of this product, you want to click the affiliate URL and take a look at what they're giving you as an affiliate. So you can take a look at the item itself and they have more information about each of the items, which is great. Um, it tells you what kind of certifications that they have. It talks about the referral program and it gives you some testimonials. And, uh, and then you can actually join the referral program. So that's another great resource that they give you is to just give you more information about what it's like to be an affiliate of the product and how much money you can actually make. Okay, so that's the sales page and the affiliate page. And then if it's a product that you think you like, that you could possibly sell to either your email list or you've got some solo ads or you want to do some Facebook advertising or something like that, then you can actually go ahead and request affiliation. So if you click request affiliation, what that's going to allow you to do is send the seller a message and it says, hello, I want to promote your product. Um, this is Shelly Turner, the Builderall Diva. So all I do is type in a message to them. Uh, if you're new to affiliate marketing, then you might say something like, I'm new to affiliate marketing and I'm really excited about promoting your product to my email list. My email list is uh, 5,000 people and I will be sending them an email to let them know about your product um, and add my affiliate link in there. Um, so you can just give them a, a short message to let them know who you are and what you want to do with their product. And then once you do that, you just click send. And now I've made a request to become an affiliate of that product. And then this person has set so that the affiliation is automated. So it actually immediately approves me. So it's actually given me my affiliate link right here. So I can actually copy that and paste it anywhere I want to paste it. And I'm good to go. If anybody clicks that link and they buy, I will actually get paid um, whatever the commission is for that product, okay? So if I scroll down a little bit more, I can see a little bit more about the product. I can see that um, none have been sold. Um, so it hasn't sold yet, but I might be like the first one that actually sells. So this is about the product. If I click affiliation, then um, it gives me some more information about what type of commissions I can expect, um, how the payments will go, um, uh, what kind of sites that I can promote to, um, how I can use my affiliate link to promote their product, what kinds of things are prohibited, um, the spam policy. You'll see these on a lot of products. They'll specifically spell out that you cannot spam people. Um, and then a lot more information about what you can do as an affiliate for this product. And then after that, once we have the affiliation information, we can go to the actual funnel and it will show us the, the uh, construction of the funnel, including uh, Donkey Milk Fido Cosmetic line, which is $159, and the Mint Fido Cosmetic line, which is $149, along with the front end product. 
So these are the commissions that I can get off of those other products that are in the funnel. So there's three products in this funnel and I can get a commission off of each one. So it's absolutely fabulous what you can do with this product. So once you become affiliated with this product, then the next step is to actually start um, selling the product by sharing your affiliate link and figuring out how you want to get traffic. So that's the marketplace. That's the list view. If I want to go to the customer marketplace, this is the exact same thing, except instead of list view, it gives it to you in what I call card view. So it creates a card for each product. And on that card, it's got an image of the product, and then it's got the title of the product. And then any of these products, if you want to click on it, you get the same exact window we got earlier and the same information, right? And you've got the sales page URL, the affiliate URL, and request affiliation. So it's the same exact thing, just a different way to display it. That would so make a really nice out of us all together, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm sorry, David, say it again. I'm joking. Is it that, that, that buying that product would make a right donkey out of you altogether? Or <laughs> I guess so. Donkey milk. I, I've never I'm heard joking. of donkey milk, but you never know. It could be a great product. I've never used it. Um, but that's the marketplace. And, and those are actually fabulous pictures. So I, I really like those pictures. But um, fabulous stuff. Here's the mint phytocosmetic, donkey milk phytocosmetic, and then the blueberry phytocosmetic. So those are the three products that are in that funnel. Um, and as you can see, they're selling them as a funnel and they're selling them individually as well. So you could actually get approval and sell these as a whole funnel or you could sell each individual product by itself. So there's like a bunch of different ways that you can do it. So now that we've looked at the marketplace and the different ways you can view the products, um, you can also organize the products in a certain way. And I'm not exactly sure how accurate this is because every time I click, it's pretty much the same ones every time. But let's look at the top sellers today. And if we take a look, it's got the Everest uh, Brazil, which um, that hasn't been selling for a few months now since November. So I don't know how that's the top seller of the day. Um, then you've got Builder All Expert Online. That's been selling for a while. That's actually a really good one. Um, and then if you scroll down, you've got, there's my product right there. So at least I'm in the, the top of the day. So there's social media explosion. And a couple more products. There's some really, really good products here. Here's the Builder All Chatbot. This is fabulous. Um, I believe uh, Wasili did this one. Um, so there's so many uh, really, really good products in here. And again, those are the top sellers. If we do top sellers for the last seven days, I'm not sure that it's gonna change. In fact, I don't think it did at all. And then top sellers for the last 30 days. And I don't think it's changing at all. So eventually when you click those buttons, it will actually have the right items. So the top sellers, top seven sellers, or sorry, top sellers for the last seven days and then top sellers for the last 30 days. Um, and then you can uh, order it by new products, by the amount of profit you get, by the price, uh, by earnings per click, or you can just click all and it will show all of the products, okay? So the next item on this area is affiliates. That's where we're gonna focus most of our attention for the next seven days, is when I click affiliates, I've got three different items under there. I've got the affiliate dashboard. So I'll go ahead and click and take a look at that. And this gives me information on um, my approved affiliate products and any earnings from those affiliate products that I sold. And then I can click your transactions. And if I've made any sales as an affiliate, it will show me the sales that I've made and how much money I've made. And then my approved products. These are the products that I've applied to become an affiliate for, and they've been approved. So now all I need to do is get my get links right there. And here is my affiliate link and I can start promoting right away. So I've got the um, blueberry phyto cosmetic line. That's the one I just applied for and it was automatically approved. I've got inbox path. I can get my links for that. I've got a couple of certification programs I'm approved for and then a uh, design your life and your social media tool. So all of these are items that I've been approved as an affiliate and I can get my links and start selling right away. And the average price, it tells me what the price is for those products and then what commission I get. And my highest commission product is off the inbox path, the lifetime membership. If I get the link to that and sell that, out of $97, I get 50% commission. That's actually pretty good. 
So um, there's where you can see the money that you're going to make on these products. So that's in the approved products area to get your links. The next area is earnings. If you click on that, it's going to tell you the earnings that you've had for your products. And you can see for social media explosion, I've got several uh, earnings right there, which is great. And, uh, and you can monitor that. And also, if you, uh, if you become a seller and you need to actually pay out your affiliates, you can actually do that as well um, in the seller area. So this is uh, where you would do a withdrawal request. If you've got payments that are due to you, um, you can actually check mark them and then click withdraw and it will withdraw it into your PayPal account. Um, or sometimes it goes directly into your PayPal account if it's an instant payment, okay? Um, now I'm gonna go into the seller area. And in the seller area, I am a seller. So I'm gonna click affiliate requests and these are the people that have applied to become an affiliate for my product. So you can see that I've got three people that are waiting for me to approve them. So all I can do is click check mark, check mark, check mark. And now I can choose as a seller to pay them instantly when a sale is made. I can do a delayed payment, meaning they don't get paid instantly, or I can deny them being able to be an affiliate. Most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, my affiliates are gonna get a delayed payment. And here's the reason why. Most of my products have a 30 day guarantee. So anytime within the first 30 days, they can re request a full refund and they'll get it. There's no questions asked. I'm not gonna say, no, you got your product, sorry, can't get a refund. They can get a refund if they don't like the product. So what would be really bad is if I would pay for these people to get their commission, and then 29 days in, somebody asked for a refund. And so I would have to pay that whole refund because these people already got their commission, All right? So you wanna delay it according to um, the amount of time that you set for your guarantee. So for my affiliates, once they make a sale, if I've got a 30 day guarantee, they're gonna have to wait 30 days to get their payment. So for these, I check mark them and I click delay. So now all of these are set so they can sell and they've got a delayed commission. The next item is delayed transaction payments. So when a person makes a sale and that sale is delayed because of the guarantee period, I click delayed transactions and I can see that um, here is a person that made a sale and the buyer was me. It was actually my product, it was my sale and the affiliate was Tabitha. So if I'm ready to pay her, um, I can actually check mark this and then choose to go ahead and pay her. But it's actually pending until March the 18th. So your sellers, when you become an affiliate, your sellers are going to look at this pending date and they're not going to pay out to you until that pending date is reached to make sure that if there's any refunds that um, they would be able to cover those refunds. So they will wait for that pending date to actually pay you. The next area under sellers is JV contract. So if you've got uh, someone that you're working with and you want to get a commission off of every sale, whether it's you as an affiliate or other affiliates, which mean, means you're working with the seller somehow, you can actually set up a JV contract with them and you get a percentage of every single sale, even if you're not the affiliate that sold it. These are people that contract with the sellers to help them get affiliates or help them build their product or help them get their product onto the marketplace. These are called JV brokers and, uh, and they usually charge a fee. JV brokers usually charge a couple thousand dollars to help sellers. And then they usually get about five to 10% of whatever the total sales are. So um, this is the area that you could set that up is the JV contract and you just add a new JV agreement. And then um, you can click your JV contracts and it will list your JV contracts and the money that you've made. If you are a seller, then you can also click your sales and it will show you all of the sales that you've made for your product. And then search transactions. If you're a seller, you can actually click search transactions and it will show you all of your sales that you've made and you can search for a specific term to be able to kind of filter those down to find exactly what you're looking for. And then the last one in the seller area is the refund request. And this is where it shows if anybody's requested a refund, you can actually see that information right there. 
So that's the seller area. The next area is purchases. If I click that, it's going to show you exactly what I've purchased oh, in my account. Sure oh, does somebody have a question? No. Okay. Um, so right here, I've got purchases, and I purchased Social Media Explosion. So it shows me that I've purchased that. And then all I need to do is click right on it to see more information. And here's the information about the product that I purchased. And I can see a detailed receipt. I can go to the support URL. I can go to the sales page to take a look at it again. I don't know about you guys, but I've purchased products before. And I wasn't real sure when I bought it. Did I get developer rights? Did I get white label rights? What exactly did I buy? And what exactly are the limits that I bought? So you can actually go back and look at the sales page again to see exactly what you bought. Um, it gives you more information about the product itself. And then this product is set up to be accessed on an external website. So it's got the button set up to be able to do that. Um, if it was just a download, so it's just an ebook that the customer could download, then there'd just be a button that would say something like download your product here. And when you click that button, it would actually download straight to your computer. Okay, so that's how uh, customers get their products is going to the purchases area. And then the last one is for sellers and that's my product area. And this, this is the area where you're going to access the products that you've created as a seller to be able to set up the products on the affiliate marketplace and to um, configure the price, configure the commission percentage for affiliates and configure the method of delivery and all that good stuff. So that's what you do with the product area. So in this particular course, this seven day boot camp, we're gonna be focusing on the marketplace itself and the affiliate. So these are probably the two buttons we'll click the most is marketplace and affiliates to be able to set up yourself as an affiliate for specific products. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions at all? Cherry, well, where do I find the referral link for builder uh, for the marketplace? Um, the referral link for the marketplace? You mean how yes. do you get into the marketplace? Mm -hmm. There's two ways. You can either get in by the Builder All dashboard. So if you're in the Builder All dashboard and you look on the left hand side menu, there's actually, uh, it says marketplace and you just click there and it takes you straight there and it uses your Builder All credentials to log you in. Or you can go to the URL, which is marketplace us. No, but uh, I mean, for instance, if I want to get my referral link for Builder All, somebody signs in using that referral link is going to be under me. Do we have a referral link for Marketplace? Because if, if I send someone to the Marketplace, it's not going to be like a referral. Nice. You have to set up a JV contract. Well, I, actually, what I would do is if I referred somebody to the Marketplace, I would say, OK, first sign up for the seven day free trial. So get them signed up for the seven day free trial and then show them where on the menu they can click Marketplace to be able to access the Marketplace. And then set up a JV contract if they were going to take it. Would that be similar to Munchai, uh, Shelley? Would Munchai no, 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 no Munchai, Munchai is just a place that reports uh, what products are being launched. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's not really yeah, it's just a list of products that are coming out, um, and it's a place where if you want to be an affiliate, that's a great place to go to see yeah. what, what products are coming out so that you can sign up and, and become a, a, an affiliate for them. And then if you're, uh, if you're selling, I wonder, do they do they accept you as a builder or seller in the selling in the builder in Munchai, I, that No, the builder on marketplace, I have not seen it on Munchai yet, but mm. it's my goal is to get it yeah, on Munchai. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I, I'll be with you on that. Yeah, mm. absolutely. But uh, yeah, I think we need to be a little bit bigger first and then we'll we'll get on Munchai, but um, you guys are a part of making that happen, right? Um, we need to get on Builder All and either become sellers or affiliates and get some activity on that marketplace so that we start to get seen and then Munchai will say, who are these Builder All marketplace people? This is great. Um, so that's up to us, right? All right, so we talked about what is an affiliate and we talked about the Builder All affiliate marketplace and we've gone through all of the uh, menus and stuff like that. So what kind of products can we put up on the marketplace? Uh, right now, the products are digital products. 
So anything that you can deliver digitally is going to be a product. It can be a product up on the marketplace. So products like eBooks, like um, courses, like e-learning courses or membership areas that have courses or just membership areas. Um, there may be a membership that I want to create for my local area of how to start a local business. Uh, so I could create a membership site, um, sell access to it on the Builder All Affiliate Marketplace. And, uh, and then they buy and they can be a part of that membership area so they can learn how to build a business in their local area. Um, that would be a membership area. Um, and I'd have to make sure that I was updating content and keeping them engaged so they stay a member, of course. Um, you can sell reports, digital reports like PDFs or um, something like that, infographics. Um, you can sell pre-made forms. How many of you guys have wanted to maybe start a website development agency, but you're like, I don't know what a scope of service would look like. I don't know what a contract to build a website would look like. I don't know what an a la carte page would look like. Well, guess what? If you're knowledgeable enough about that, you can create those forms, put it as a package and put it up on the affiliate marketplace and it would sell. Let me tell you that right now, it would sell. There's so many people in Builderall right now that want to build a website agency, but they have no idea how to put together a scope of service. Um, they don't know how to put together a contract. Uh, they don't know how to put together maybe an a la carte uh, pricing menu. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can put together as far as uh, you got to sneeze. <gasps> Ooh, okay, that's a good one. All right. Um, so, <laughs> so you can put together all these forms and have them ready. So all they have to do is put in their uh, logo and then their company information and Shazam, they're ready to go with the website agency. So, um, and you could, you could charge 30 bucks, a quick 30 bucks for those forms, right? Is the seven free trial on the, in the marketplace? No, no, you'd have to get your link outside of Builderall and you'd have to say, sign up for the seven day free trial and then go to the left hand side and click marketplace and you can, you can take a look at the marketplace. You probably have to do a, a few videos. Step. Okay. Yeah, you, you probably have to do a few uh, videos. Let me, let me show you exactly how you do it. Um, you would go to, let me go to my Builderall account. Tabitha and log in. This is one of my test accounts, but here I am logged into Tabitha and all I do is go to the builder all business area and to money making funnels. And if I scroll down far enough, I've got the seven day free trial right here. Right. So right here is the link for the homepage. I would click that and it, it copies it for me. So when I click it, it, it actually copies it for me. And I would give them this link right here and get them signed up for seven days. And then I might do a short video or something to show them how they can go to the main dashboard, which would be right here. This would be the main dashboard and to scroll down and find marketplace and click marketplace to be able to access the marketplace from their new builder all account. Okay. Does that help? And that way you've got them for that seven day free trial. So if they then decide to upgrade, they will be under you. I, I know uh, this might yeah, be a very silly question. <laughs> Do you okay. need to put down your credit card on the seven day trial? No. No. And so, uh, cool. Great. Thank you. Oh, Tyree, did you have something else that you were saying? No. Okay. Any other? I was other? saying something. Oh, wait. I was, was saying it? something. Okay. When you went to show how you do it, my screen went blank. Yeah. I mean, oh, well, that's, that's scary. Well, let's go ahead and do it again. We'll do it again, Willie. Make sure you got it. So let me go to share. And all I did was I went to my Builder All dashboard. Can you see me? Can you see my screen, Willie? Yeah, I can see it. Fabulous. So I'm on the just the regular dashboard, and I'm going to go to the Builder All yes. business area. And then I'm going to go to money making funnels. And when I click right. that, it gives me all the funnels right. that I have that I can use like right out of the box. And I'm just going to scroll down and find that seven day free trial right there. And right. it says link to the home page. I'm just going to click right on it. When I click right on it, it tells me that it's copied. 
So now I can share that link with anybody I want to, and that will get them signed up for the seven day free trial. And then what I'm going to do is maybe shoot a training video a real fast, probably takes 30 seconds to, to show how to do this, where you show them how to log into BuilderAll. They'll come to this page. And then they look on the left hand side and they find the marketplace link. And all they have to do is click the marketplace and it will right. open up with their information so they can get started. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, the other thing that I uh, was uh, confused about is, I mean, is that the million uh, dollar challenge on that money making uh, phone also? Um, the, the million, uh, the one million entrepreneur challenge is actually, um, let's see, it's in the money making funnels area. And then it's in categories. And when I click categories, I believe, I believe it's in the open funnel area. So when I go to open funnels, there's the million dollar challenge right there. Is that the one you were looking for? Okay. Yeah, the million and, and the 90 day challenge. The 90 day challenge is in the training area. So that's gonna be right here in the training area. And then there's basic, intermediate and advanced. So if you go to the basic training area, then you're gonna see some uh, basic training. So congratulations, you now have access to the 90 day challenge training. And then uh, I think that you have to have, this is, you get this automatically. And then I think if you get like three people sign up under you, you'll get the intermediate training. And then I think maybe five, you'll get the advanced training. I'm not sure what the numbers are, but you do have to keep building to be able to get access to all three of them. Okay. I do have a question, Shelly, after winning. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when you yeah. sell those amount of build all accounts, does the system automatically give you access to those trainings or do you have to apply to get those trainings after you sold the accounts? Yeah, it gives it to you automatically. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And those trainings are fabulous. You're going to find um, a lot more information about tra how to get traffic and how to um, write a good sales letter and how to um, promote your affiliate link. And uh, it's just Fabulous. So go through that training for sure because it's really, really good. Chad did a fabulous job of putting that together. Okay, I was wondering where it came from because when I first became a part of Build All, I didn't see that. But after a few accounts that I sold, I'm like, what? I was wondering if it was a new training or where did it come from. So for me, uh, that just gave me a another sale, uh, a, a, another way to present Build All to motivate someone to. Uh, buy or sell build all so they can have access to that type of training. Yep, absolutely. And it's really good training. Chad did a fabulous job. There's a reason Chad is uh, has done so well with builder all. And what's fabulous is Chad is uh, just exactly like me, um, which are exactly like most of the leaders in builder all 99% of the leaders in builder all do not keep secrets. <laughs> as, we, <laughs> as we all know that there's plenty of room for everybody. So the, Chad gives away the farm in everything that he's done. So you want to watch that training. And some of them are pretty short. Some of them are a little bit long. But there is a neat thing that you can download on uh, Google Chrome extensions on the web store. You can actually download a little uh, uh, video speeder upper thing. I don't know the name of it, but it's, it speeds up your videos so that you can set it to play a little bit faster than normal. And it doesn't create that Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse voice. It actually does a pretty good job of keeping the voice normal, but it does speed it up to two times faster or three times faster. So you can still hear it all and still understand it all. It's just not, it doesn't like make you go to sleep. You like it. So um, check that out. I cannot remember the name of it, but it's a, a video speeder upper and um, it allows you to speed up your videos when you're watching them. So you can watch them a little okay. bit faster. Okay, one other question. Uh, now that I know we can qualify for that by the amount of the accounts we sell, mm -hmm. um, uh, does it have back there how many accounts you have to sell to get access to other training? 
Because I didn't, I I didn't pay attention to that at the time when you were showing I don't think it does. But honestly, let me share my screen again because I think I'm in my test account. This is Tabitha, and she doesn't have any sales, and she has access to all three. So it may be that they changed it, and now you get access to all of them, like, right when you sign up. So um, check that out. If you are a Builderall business owner, you have to have Builderall business, right, which is the forty nine ninety package. But just go into Builderall business and then go down to training and see if you have access to all three. I shall do that today. That's what I'm going to do this evening because I, was, I saw that. I wasn't familiar with it. If it was uh, more training videos, if it was a product or anything like that. But now that I know it's a gift, uh, mm -hmm. I was still going to check it out anyway. But again, that's more information that I can use to motivate someone to buy, build all, or motivate someone to sell it. And that's that makes exactly a big, big difference. That's right. That's exactly right. There's that training. And then there's that other training. That's the solo ad training by Mark Caton. Um, that's actually really good, too. Let me uh, share that with you. That's not in the builder all business area. That is in, um, I think it's special add-ins. Is that right? Yeah. Under special add-ins, you'll have builder all real traffic. And when you click that, it actually opens up Mark's training. And Mark is a solo ad provider. Um, I buy solo ads from him. He's very reliable. He's super duper good. And he gives great information about what solo ads are. And the best way to take advantage of solo ads to make sure that the vendors don't take advantage of you. So it's a fabulous program. Uh, lots of good training in there. There's some uh, free video training in there that's worth it. Really is worth about a thousand dollars. It shows you how to uh, create email follow-up series. And let me tell you, Mark did this for my entire team. My entire team. He wrote them individualized email follow-up series. So everybody has a different email follow-up series that he created and it was absolutely fabulous. So if you want to know how to do this, check that out. It's really, really good. Um, and he does a great job of explaining solo ads and how to use solo ads. And then honestly, if you want to dive into solo ads, um, he would be a good person to start off with because he is, he is great. He's really good. Yeah, I, I, I was, you know, I, I I have learned to check the back office, the menu daily, because mm -hmm. your yeah. daughter's like Christmas seven days a week. <laughs> it's serious, so, yeah. um, when I look back there, I'm amazed at what I see because a lot of the information they have back there that's free, I've seen it on the market for a, a very, very expensive price. And yeah. looking at some of the information, I'm like, Wow, I, I remember when I had to pay to have that type of training. So to have this and to be a part of this opportunity is like being in part, being ahead of the creation of the world before it was created. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just surprised. Like you said, they give away so much free information. There's no way you can't be successful. That's true. Um, I do have a couple of questions in the YouTube channel. Um, Chaz is actually there and Marcella is there. And uh, Chaz says that, um, that we can't see him in the panel. Um, he's actually live on YouTube, but he's not actually live on the Zoom. So Chaz, if you want to be live on the Zoom, all you have to do is go to builderallbootcamps.com. And there's a Zoom link. So tomorrow, click that, and you can be live on Zoom with all of us. We can see your beautiful face. And then uh, Marcelo says uh, if he promotes the link on Facebook, the link could be banned. That's actually very true if you use Facebook ads or if that link is used, like, excessively on a Messenger and inside Facebook groups, which for your affiliate link, it, it would not be. So... Um, but anyway, one of the ways that you can get around this is to do something called a landing page. And we will talk about landing pages during these seven days to show you how to take your affiliate link and put it on a landing page to be able to do Facebook ads and YouTube ads and, um, and, and be able to promote those different products. So those are things that we're going to be covering in the seven days that we have together. So we have a lot to cover together for sure. Um, so any other questions, you guys? You guys have had really, really good questions. Are you excited about learning how to become an affiliate? <laughs> All right, what I want you to do today, this is your homework. 
your homework is to go into the Builder All Marketplace and start looking at some of the products that are there and find a couple of products that you like that you you think that you're going to be able to promote either promote by doing uh, you know organic advertising or like some type of ad system or solo ads however you want to do it um i would start with their get organic methods first but um find products that you think you want to promote and apply to be an affiliate and when you apply never just take that default message put your name in there put some information about you what how are you going to promote it remember you are building a relationship with the seller and i'm going to tell you as a seller myself i have a lot of power in picking out my affiliates right if i've got a kick butt product that i'm putting out i'm not going to i'm not going to deal with these little piddly affiliates that send me a message that's the default message and they don't even tell me their name or what they're going to do i'm going to deal with the affiliates that are in the game and they're in the game for real right we're developing relationship, and this could be a long-term relationship. As I develop products, they sell my products. So you as an affiliate, your job is to create a relationship with that seller, right? And then you can decide what sellers you want to sell for, and the seller can decide, hey, this is a good affiliate. I'm going to track this person down every time I have a product, okay? So it's a relationship that you're building. Build that relationship by typing in a message in there, okay? Got it? So that's your homework is go in there, find a couple products, apply to be an affiliate, and then you'll see how it works in the system, how you get emails to confirm that you applied, another email that confirms that you were approved, all that good jazz. So just kind of play with that system a little bit and uh, make some uh, affiliate applications and then see if you can find that affiliate link. So you're ready to start using that affiliate link. And then in the next six days together, we're going to talk about how to get traffic and how to share that link in a way that will get you some sales, okay? You got it? All right, guys, that's about all we're gonna do today. I did have a link in here that David put to a free image editor. Um, it is 110lunapic.com slash editor, and it helps to take the background out of your images. But don't forget that in Builderall, we have a tool that allows you to take the backgrounds out too. Yeah, um, it, it also adds, uh, you can do so many different things. Like I, I, I've just been playing around with it today as well. Uh, it can put snow on your images, make them nearly into a GIF type image. Mm -hmm. Only it's an image. It's not moving. It's all stuff. Anyway, that, that's beside the point. It might that's help. Great. Yeah, thank you for sharing. We, we really appreciate it. Any resources like that that you guys can share. Um, because remember, this is all about all of us kind of pulling each other along together. So um, anytime you've got a great resource, I'm okay with you sharing for sure. In fact, if it's something new, you know, I'm going to jump all over it too. So um, mm. that's exciting to me. But anyway, and it's not an affiliate, uh, affiliate one in there. There you go. Um, you guys have a, oh, Roberta, you got a question? Yes. When can we meet so we can, you can help me getting um, all I've this got, together? I've got certified partners in about 45 minutes. And that will usually last about two to three hours. So um, message me on Facebook, private message me, and in about two to three hours, we can um, touch base and see if we can take a look, okay? All right, um, Tyree. Yes, I wanted to ask one more question about uh, the, the tools we have in Build All. I noticed, I know we have mock-ups, we have uh, uh, floating video to do green screen capability. We also have uh, video wrap and things like that. But do we have, have they uh, put a tool back that it does GIFs yet? Like animated GIFs? Yes. Um, the uh, the mock-up thing, when you put your image in there, I think that's what it creates is a, a, like an animated GIF. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That's that's the only one that I can think of that we can actually say something as a GIF. Everything else is either like a JPEG or a PNG. If you're creating a transparent background, then you have to create it as a PNG. Um, and then we've got the um, movie maker thing as well. So uh, animated GIF, the closest I can think of is the mock-up. Yep. All right. Anything else, you guys? Cool. No, again, right. thank you. You're, you're very welcome. And don't forget tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. 
and we'll continue to go through and learn what it's like to be an affiliate on the Build Raw Affiliate Marketplace. You guys do not have too much fun without me. I will see you tomorrow. You have a good evening. Take care. Have a good evening. Thanks so much. Hey, everybody. Take care. Bye. Good to see you. Good to see you. Take care. Look.